Hi there. In this video, we will build a secure network in AWS in completely automated fashion using Aviatrix Terraform provider. This automation will create the architecture that you see on this screen. So the automation will deploy a transit VPC with Aviatrix transit gateways in it. It will deploy the spoke VPCs with the spoke gateways, will connect these transit VPC to spoke VPCs with all the traffic engineering and visibility that is part and parcel of Aviatrix architecture. And not only that, it will also create the VM series um, in the transit VPC and will provide the proper connectivity with all the automation that is needed. Then you also have the option to create the policy so that you can expect the traffic coming from these VPCs or the workload that you have within the VPCs. And based on the policy, the VM series will expect the traffic and will send it to the destination. This whole experience is as a service experience, which is managed by the, the Aviatrix controller with complete automation and total control. This also maximizes the VM series throughput and performance by utilizing the active active transit. It maintains the source address visibility, gives you all the visibility needed without needing any source net, any BGP, Geneve, or any other complex protocol. It gives you the deep visibility and troubleshooting options with the analytics and the cost optimization that is needed by the enterprise. So now let's switch to the demo. So here, what I have is my Terraform and the Terraform is saved in my GitHub repo. And if you look at the, the files, those are standard Terraform files. And this is the code that I have, right? It's a very simple code. Um, and it is a repeatable code, um, code written in Terraform, which is pointing towards the Avitix uh, controller. And it gives you all the options needed in terms of building this architecture. For example, the cloud type is one AWS. You can simply change the cloud type and then you could deploy it in Azure or GCP without uh, changing the code. Uh, then it also gives you the option to create the spoke VPC, transit VPC with the, uh, the parameters that you might need to tweak a little bit, right? And then here you have the inspection policy that defines the prod and def spoke VPCs and the workloads there. And then it will be sending it to the uh, follow all to VM series for inspection. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm gonna also provide you in my description here. Now, if I move towards the Terraform, I'm using the cloud version of it. And what I have is my uh, Terraform cloud connected to my GitHub repo. So when I'm gonna start the, the plan, now the plan is going to pull the code from the GitHub and it will start deploying all the resources, right? So it's gonna deploy the Aviatrix transit, spoke, VM series, end-to-end -end automation. Now this process will obviously take some time. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. This is the AWS console where you can see these resources being deployed by Aviatrix controller. And you will also see them appearing in uh, the controller UI. You don't have to log into the AWS console because all those options are available within AWS uh, sorry, within Aviatrix controller, right? So this is running in the background, transit and spoke, those resources are being deployed right now. And you can also see the progress from the Terraform cloud. And if I move forward a little bit, you can see uh, the code that I'm deploying or using for the VM series. In this case, I'm using 10.0.3 uh, VM series version, right? So now, the process of VM series takes some time, about 10 to 12 minutes. So after that's done, uh, we will see all those resources within Aviatrix controller, right? So here I have the AWS console, all the resources are deployed. And now let's move back to the controller. Now the controller will show you all these resources. It will also show you the finite policy that tells the uh, the VM series that you need to expect the traffic coming in from this workload or VPCs, right? There are other options available. It's very detailed, very comprehensive. You can look at the, uh, the firewall being deployed, uh, the policy inspection, yes, egress is also done through these firewalls. When you uh, 
uh, double click on it, you can see more options, complete visibility in terms of the route table that were automatically created for you based on your policy. And then the vendor integration will show you how this uh, Aviotix is actually integrated with the, uh, with the panorama, right? So that's what you're gonna see. And then you can also look at the panorama or the VM series route table directly from the controller UI. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching.